types of linked list these are the different types of linked list the first one is simply linked list as you as you all know the simply linked list is a list of nodes where each node is partitioned into two parts data part and link part the data part holds the value of the node that is the element which is to be stored in the node and the link part or the next part holds the address of the next node in the linked list this is an example for simply linked list see it contains address of the suppose these are the addresses these four digit numbers are the addresses then that is the uh, next node address is 1201 it will be stored in the link part of the first node and start is the pointer to the first node in the linked list okay this is simply linked list the we say that an that a linked list is empty if start equal to none and the first node is the start itself and one more thing is the last node of a linked list in the last node the link part will be none in a simply linked list the link part of the last node will be none now let's see the next one circular linked list or circularly linked list uh, the difference between singly linked list and circular linked list is that the circular in a circular linked list the link part of the last node contains the address of the first node that means the last node will point to the first node how will it point to the first node it, it will contain the link part of the last node will contain the address of the first node see here the address of the first node is 1011 so that will be stored in the last node so that it will become the link will become in a circular form this is a circular link list here also an empty list means start equal to null and uh, the first node in the circular link list is start itself the difference is that the link part of the last node will contain the address of the first element or will contain start because start is the first element then next um, list is header link list now header link list header link list means in a simply link list usually the simply link list start with the um, begin with the start point uh, here in the header link list it means a link list is called header link list if it contains a special node in the beginning beginning of the list the special node in the beginning of the list is called the header node this node uh, this uh, the header header node or the special node means that the data part of the special node will hold some information regarding the list it will not store the element the first element of the list will be stored in the in the node next to the header node okay that means the header link list in a header link list the first node will be a special node called the header node in that the data part it contains special values that means it may, it may it we can store uh, some information regarding the list uh, about some details about the list other than the data that is other than the values that is to be stored the values will be stored from the next node next to the header node so here an empty list means uh, head link of head is null that means the first first item in the list will uh, will will be stored in the next part of sorry will be stored in the next node of header node that is here only the elements will start this is the first node is a special node and it will not be it will not store the value of the list it will contain some special values the values are going to be stored from here that means here like this the values will be the data will be stored from the second node so if uh, we can say that a header link list is empty only if the second node is empty or the say if it doesn't have a second node right that means uh, the link of head is null head then link means the next node to the header node this is a head node head node uh, if this is a head node then head then link means the second node to the head node right so the uh, header link list empty is empty if the head then link is equal to null and the first node in the head is the first node which has value in the head is head then link 
if this is the head if this is the head node then this is head then link then next is circular header link list the circular header link list like before the circular like the circular link list here we have a header uh, since it is circular header link list we have a special node called header node in the beginning and the last node what's the difference the in the circular header link list the last node it will not store a null value that is the link part of the last node will not store a null value there it will store the value of the uh, node which is in the beginning right here since it is a header node we have a special node called head and it will store the value of the head in the link part of the last node see the last node is pointing to the head node so instead of null here we will store head so instead of null we store head here here also empty uh, the list is empty when head then link is null and the first node in the list is head then link that is the second node is the first node which has value in it then comes the doubly linked list or the two way list here the doubly linked list means till now we have seen singly linked list in singly linked list the, each node will be divided into two parts data part and the link part but in a doubly linked list each node will be divided into three parts minimum of three parts since doubly or two way means you have access in two direction in a singly linked list there is only it is one directional you can only traverse in the forward direction but in a two way list we can traverse in forward and backward direction for that to traverse in backward direction we need to know, store the address of the previous node so each node will be divided into three parts uh, one for data the then one for forward link and another for backward link the forward link will store the address of the next node in the doubly linked list and the backward will store backward pointer will store the address of the previous node in the doubly linked list see see this example here the um, pointer to the list is start or in some cases we can say that it first is a pointer which points to the first node in the doubly linked list we can name it in any way here 1011 is the first node and look at the first node here the data is 5 forward link is 1200 that is the address of the next node in the list and the backward in the backward pointer part uh, we have a null value that means there is no previous node to this node since this is the first node there will not be a previous one right then see the rest of the values and in the last node the last node case here the data is to the backward pointer points to the previous node the address of the previous node is stored in the backward part and the forward part it contains a null value which means there is no node after this node okay here empty means as as a, as a single link list start equal to null list it uh, will show will tell us that the list is empty and the first node is start itself in some cases if we want to travel backwards we can also use a last a pointer to the last we can also point can also give a pointer called last to, which will point to the last node in the doubly linked list now um, since it is since it is a two way linked list we can travel in both directions see to traverse in the forward direction we start with first use the forward pointer to go to the next node in the list right and if we want to traverse from um, i mean in backward direction or the reverse direction if we have a last pointer which points to the backward uh, sorry the last node then we can start with this last pointer using the backward pointers we can traverse in the reverse direction right the backward pointers contains the nodes of the previous one so in each node we have the data part the address of the next node that is a forward link part and the address of the backward uh, previous node in the backward link part okay now the circular doubly linked list circular means these two nulls will be avoided and it will be replaced by some address in the node right here 
if it becomes circular if we make this list circular what will be the change this pointer this null value should go and it should point to the first node right so it will point to the first node that is a link will be going from here till here and that means it will contain the address of the first node and 0 1 1 will be given here if we make this a circular link list and what about this null this null will be changed by the next node if it is circular the next node should be the last one right the previous node should be the last one so here it will contain the address of the last node 1 1 0 a link will go from here till here and the start or the first will point to the first node it will tell us which is the first node so there won't be any doubts in uh, doubt um, any confusion in finding the first node okay these are the different types of linked list